Welcome to the next edition of Mike Shares Long Road. My name is Mike Rennick. I'm the team lead, the senior broker with Team Rennick Real Estate Services. My partner today is Mr. Stephen Reed, the owner of the publisher of the Longboat Key News and the Sarasota City News. Welcome, Steve. Hey, glad to be back with Sunday mornings with Steve and Mike. <laughs> so, where are we at today? Well, we are at a very interesting location. It's the what has been called forever the North End Gas Station on Longboat Key. And so it, we're at the corner of Broadway and Gulf of Mexico Drive. Yeah, in the very northern tip of the key. And, and if you were to head directly to the east, you'd have the entire village, which is the original settlement of Longbow Key. Yep. It's an old fishing village. And um, the oldest homes on the key are there. Some of them are still there. And, uh, and this, uh, this gas station, which operated for, for decades. Well, let, let's go back. I like that. Okay. I arrived here in 2008. Okay. Part-time, full-time in 2010. To my recollection, this was never open since I got here in Longboat. So, it, it, yeah. Was, yeah, it, it was, yeah. It was already closed at that it point? It was closed about four years prior, three or four years yeah. prior. It was, um, well, you know, during the, uh, what happened? The, the back story is there was change in legislation. The pumps, I believe, would have to have been changed out. There was going to be a huge cost involved oh, okay. with changing the tanks. Okay. A big cost being imposed on the property. And it didn't really make it financially viable. You know, that coupled with the fact that the local mechanic gas station model, as you've seen, is not not really an ongoing thing. So was in, this in the this kind world. where people could bring their cars in for repair? Yeah, to the garage? yeah they did small engine repair, small you know, brakes and, and So belts. that's all gone away now. You don't that, see that anywhere. Well, for the most part. Now, I mean, there is some of that on Holmes Beach. The former owner did go up to uh, Holmes Beach and, and continues up there under a different operation. But what happened was then this property languished. It was offered as is. What's always easiest from a development point of view is to leave yep. the use. But it had that cost involved. So it's sad. It sat through the... Uh, the recession or the housing crisis of 2006 and seven. Someone did pick the property up in 2005 for $550,000 and it sat and it sat for 13 years. Okay. Various development proposals came and went. Um, you, you were asking me about them uh, before we started today. The most famous of them was for a four-story hotel. Mm -hmm. Florida's a, a developer of, of small hotels and of different projects, wanted to build a boutique hotel, four stories. Now, if you know the village, it's feisty, they're politically active. They, they didn't want it. it um, they love what they have today. Yeah. And that it, would have changed the ambiance. It would have changed the ambiance. And you would have had to literally, if you're, here on this site, there isn't a lot of space. You would have had to almost crowbar it in right. here. Yep. And um, and it, it isn't on the beach, so everyone who came on to get to the beach would have been crossing GMD. And another aside, which makes Longboat unique and is kind of cool, is on Longboat Key, the commission can't just say yes and add new development density. You can't add residential units, can't right. add tourism units without a vote of the people, without referendum, mm -hmm. and it keeps, that was enacted and it makes this community extremely unique and precious. Mm -hmm. Most other towns, if the commission wants it, they want the view, like downtown Sarasota, they, add the density. You want another you know. Ritz-Carlton, right. add the density. Here, you, you need a vote. And this is zoned commercial. And that proposal went before voters. It was up to the voters. Mm -hmm. I think the commission was gonna approve it. The voters voted it down, I think it was about 80% mm -hmm. against it. Um, and, and that so went away. That's the strength of this island is it remains as the residents want it to remain. Changes only occur yeah, when, when they concur with that. It, it, it's one of the built-in protections yep. and it does add value because places that have controlled zoning and density are, are rare and unique. Yep. You know? So there's so, been a lot of false starts here. 
You realtors but, like to get in and build and sell. You know, we, that's, that's part of the... We, we do. Yeah, I know. So you have to, we have to put controls on it, you know? there's the, It takes a lot of effort. But. And, and so there's been a lot of false starts with plans here. There were other ones. But mm -hmm. now the current plan yeah. is this is going to be called Whitney's Roadside or Whitney's Yeah, it's going to be Inn. Whitney's Roadside Restaurant or Whitney's okay. Restaurant. I mean, here's... But it's a different kind of restaurant than we have. Totally. What's totally. it going to be? Okay, so... so Last fall, the the property was sold, or last summer, uh, James Brearley, the same fellow who was trying to put this development together, ended up buying the property, his development group. Mm -hmm. James Brearley then went to the city commission last fall and got what's called a change of use allowance in the uh, planning board. The planning board dictates well, they don't dictate, but there's a list of uses that was allowed on this site and in commercial zoning. Well, now one of the acceptable uses for this site is restaurant and a small convenience store. So that was sort of allowed to be added to this site. Now, that opened up the door then for what seems to be a really nice and compatible use. And so his proposal, and he hasn't submitted a, you know, a site plan yet, mm -hmm. but he says, this is what I'm proposing. He had what's called a pre application conference with the town where he says what he wants to do the town gives its feedback and he's going to basically leave this building as is and mm -hmm. renovate renovate They've the hell taken out of the it. canopy down they're going to put a new one new up. canopy but the footprint remains the same yeah with these with these doors that open up the the original garage doors and he's going to kind of retrofit it mm -hmm. and i think it's kind of a neat idea because you'll see increased landscaping you're going to see more mature trees there'll be parking lot that'll all be repaved I think if well, people can walk in, it's like a walk-up walk restaurant, up, order yeah. your lunch, sandwich, soda, coffee to go, something like that. Yeah, villagers could walk here from the yeah, village. Right. You can have the beach, which is the beautiful North End Beach. Right across the street. One of the prettiest spots around. Absolutely. Right across the street. And so what he sees and what the vision is, is to have a combination of almost like a, remember we're at the Lido Beach Pavilion and you can walk up and get those yep. lobster taco rolls yes. and lobster rolls mm -hmm. and fish tacos and... There probably will be small concessionaire stand and, and items like um, suntan lotion and and sunblock mm -hmm. and, and and beach you know umbrellas and things like that for sale. And then you'll have this this food and and you know probably the kind of things you want to have when you when you're done at the beach. You know like 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 things that are kind of hip and fun. I could see the the fish tacos. I could sure. see lobster rolls. I think. He's going to have, they're sort of proposing some limited breakfast things, you know, maybe cappuccinos, coffee, tea. So the good news of all this, so through the process, at least from the information I've read, validate whether it's correct, they're targeting to have this open this fall. Targeting this fall, yeah. I, I don't see roadblocks. It's an allowed use. Um, the developer, it has sat. It will add value to the property. I think that, um, I think it's really exciting because if you think about this, we're not going to get a generic gas station with just a, you know a shell station or a bp station right. we're not going to get another clone restaurant we're going to get something unique and individual i think it's so great let's come back in a few months or a few weeks and let's do an update of where we stand on this this project seems like one that's going to move along fast steve thank you hey, i appreciate your you time again. again you're always prepared thank you for that good to be I here i appreciate see that. you soon take care Thanks. everyone thank you